Hello everyone, listen to you from HDTV Test here. I'm a display reviewer and professional calibrator. I've finished unboxing the Xiaomi Media 4K laser projector and what I'm going to do in this video is to go through the initial setup, show you how to change the native Chinese language to English and also maybe explore the picture settings in the user menu. Now, first things first, this Xiaomi Media 4K laser projector actually can achieve 4K resolution through wobulation. This is different from previous Xiaomi projectors, which although can accept 4K video signal, the native output is only 1080p, and this applies to the VMAX laser projector as well. So this projector that I am reviewing here is one that can output 4K resolution through population. And the first order of the day that you need to do is to put two AAA batteries in the remote control because for some reason they wouldn't supply with my review sample. And to pair up the remote control to the projector via Bluetooth, you need to press the home button and also the quick menu button together at the same time as shown on the screen. And once it is paired successfully, you will hear a beep and it will bring you to the next screen which will allow you to adjust the focus electronically. On superficial glance, the resolution and the sharpness and also the focus uniformity is better than the Xiaomi white laser projector and also the VMAX laser projector that I've tested before. So you can use the left or right button to try and get the words into focus. And I think on previous Xiaomi projectors, sometimes you can get the center focus, but some of the corners may be slightly blurrier. But on this particular sample, I'm getting quite a sharp image almost throughout the entire screen. Once you're happy with the focus, you can press the center button and the next screen will be keystone correction or adjustment. Now, previous Xiaomi projectors, including the VMAX projector, will allow for multi-point keystone correction, maybe up to even eight points. But on this Xiaomi Media 4K laser projector, you can only adjust the four corners, either in a coarser manner, which is this option here, or in a finer manner or you can just reset the keystone correction. But I would generally advise you to try not to use keystoning because it can actually degrade the picture resolution. So the best thing to do is to try and mount or place your projector in a way that keystone correction is not required. We will press OK. And then the next screen will ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi network, probably your home internet network, because there are various apps that you can install on the projector to watch, let's say, YouTube, maybe even Netflix. I'm not entirely sure whether that's available on this projector, but I will skip it for now. And if you just press the OK button, this will bring you to the projector home screen, which obviously is Android based. The next thing I want to show you is how to change the language to English. So if you scroll down to this icon here, which is setup, click on it. And then if you go to this user setup icon, go down here. Now currently the language is set to simplified Chinese, but if you click on it, you can change it to English. And press the confirm button and you can see that the majority of the user menu is in English now although there are still some items in Mandarin but hopefully this will give you a good enough understanding of what you are trying to achieve on this projector. Obviously some of the apps may still be in Mandarin or Chinese but hopefully enough of the user menu is in English for you to understand. The next thing I want to show you are the picture settings. If you go into the display sub menu, 
backlight allows you to adjust the projector screen brightness and the default is movie now clearly english is not their first language and there is a spelling error here and i would expect that by selecting this option the light output may be slightly higher but we'll go back to movie for now and display parameters will allow you to adjust the picture settings we'll come back to that later keystone correction is what we have done earlier projector mode if i click on it yes this will allow you to flip the image or create a mirror image if you are ceiling mounting your projector so if i go here you can see that the image is flipped and let's try and get back to normal and electric focus is what we have done in the initial setup so let's get into the picture settings now there are various picture presets ranging from standard to movie to picture to sport to user and back to standard again now as with previous xiaomi projectors once you adjust any single picture control it will populate the user picture preset which means that realistically there is only one adjustable picture mode on this Xiaomi Media 4K laser projector. Brightness affects the digital black level, contrast determines the digital white level, saturation affects the colors globally in terms of the saturation and also intensity, sharpness is edge enhancement and hue is setting to rotate the tint of the colors globally and colors this is basically color temperature and warm will create a redder or yellower tint and standard is bluer and cold is the bluest and there is one additional option which is if i go back one step which is the custom option which will open up further white balance adjustment for you to tweak the grayscale on your projector and on normal televisions there are normally at least two point white balance controls but on this projector you can only adjust the red gain the green gain and the blue gain so i call this a single point white balance control which will allow you to adjust the color temperature across the entire luminance range and before I forget, I would like to thank Chinese retailer GearBest.com for sending me this projector for review. Now, they have been working with me on previous Xiaomi projector reviews. And part of my arrangement with them is that if you purchase this projector through the link that I've put in the YouTube description below and also in the pinned comment, then I will be able to send you the calibrated settings for this projector that I have measured and calibrated. Now, remember that you need to specifically click the link in the YouTube description below. Otherwise, your order won't track. And if I can't see your order in my backend, then I can't send you the calibrated settings as per my arrangement with gearbest.com. So hope you understand if you want to support this channel and if you are considering buying this projector please strongly consider buying it from gearbest.com to support them and support us thanks again so let's go back one step and the next option is obviously to reset the picture settings under advanced settings those are the dynamic contrast and the dynamic color options Again, once I start testing this projector, I'll be able to see whether this is beneficial or this is detrimental to the picture quality. But yes, this is just a quick unboxing, initial setup, and also exploration of the picture settings video. And I think you can learn how to change the language of your projector to English as well. I'll be spending the next couple of weeks testing, measuring, and also calibrating this projector. So if you have anything in particular that you want us to test or any questions about this projector, feel free to leave a comment in the YouTube section below. 
If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.